May I first of all say what a pleasure it is to express gratitude to President Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa for <coughs> the initiative in holding this meeting and also for the hospitality that we have all experienced. I was very conscious as we come into this meeting that we're meeting in times of urgency, times that challenge us all, how different they are from years ago, for example in 2015, when the hearts of the world lifted with the agreements in New York and Paris on the United Nations system and the international, uh, and, and international climate change. I was very conscious that we have in fact heard the statements of the Secretary General of the United Nations about the failure of some of the most, some of the most endowed and wealthy countries. To I was also conscious of the statements of Pope Francis in Laudato Deum, which is really one that reprimanded, if you like, the same countries for failing to meet their commitments of eight years ago. I was very pleased that we had a comprehensive discussion on the, on the war in Ukraine and also how we might envisage a future in which peace was restored to the continent. I was very conscious too and indeed described our crisis as intersecting crisis because climate change, food security, global poverty and migration are inextricably linked. I was also very pleased that at their discussion we were able to have some honest differences in relation to some of these issues, particularly in relation to migration. I think there was a genuine recognition, which was very welcome, that there needed to be uh, significant changes in the institutional architecture internationally if we are to meet any of the challenges, uh, that, uh, the challenges that are fa facing us. I think as well that uh, it was <clears throat> very important uh, that uh, we think um, beyond Europe and look and consider how Europe is viewed globally and therefore Europe's position in relation to many of the issues which are after global issues uh, were ones that we were able to discuss. I very much welcome uh, at this. I think in the end when we meet uh, next year, uh, I hope that we will be able, as I have said, to show some authenticity in relation to the connection between language and action. And I think that uh, all of this uh, means that we are, after all, not just challenged, but also presented with great opportunities of presenting entirely new models of economy, ecology and society. We had a thorough discussion in that regard in relation to how we must look at Africa and have the discipline to change our views in looking at, for example, globalisation from below and Africa from an African perspective. Thank you, Thank you, dear, dear, Michael.